Yeah, I've put a water barrier and I'm ready to start. So yeah, I put level. It looks like I have. It's not really straight. It's I have some curve here in the wall. So I'll try to fix it by with bricks, but yeah, it will be a little bit yeah, curved. But this is okay, it's not bad. A few millimeters for me, it's... Inspector doesn't work. Heineke. Yeah, was it too warm outside? Is it your new place? Ah. Sorry. It works, but hook is too big, I need smaller one.
Yeah, fortunately, this folly was too high. Yeah, the next challenge for me is we need to move this motor inside because yeah, it was water and a few of the bags like a stone. So yeah, we need to move it inside. But the challenge is that first we need to move this pallet and this pallet because here is really harsh to yeah to walk I try it a little bit let's do that Done. Also, we have problem with insulation, so it's it was wet and it's become rot. So and uh, it's partially, but this one is totally rotten. So you can see, fortunately. And we see no little outside, but it's total rotten because it was. Yeah, I kept it too long outside, and yeah, it was some water. I want to know from, from the small holes. Yeah. I mean just to throw this back, these two bags. Yeah, it's a shame, but yeah, there is no way, unfortunately, to use it.
will be really expensive compost. <laughs> While Elia is busy and drilling over there, I would like to take a chance and answer some of your questions that you were asking in the comments to our previous video. Thank you very much. But for that, I would need to find a nice and quiet spot first. I found a cozy spot in the barn where we store our wood and it's really nice actually here. Enough light and no wind, so I hope you will hear me very well. Because Elia is drilling and cutting bricks in the house and it would be just a pain <laughs> to shoot something over there. So, hemp, hemp insulation. Uh, some of you knew about this insulation and some of you don't know anything about it. And I would be more than happy if more people will learn about this great uh, insulation material through our videos. Hemp insulation is made out of hemp uh, plant logical yeah <laughs> hemp plant is very easy to grow and it grows very fast it's also a weed suppressor that means it doesn't require any pesticides to grow which is great i think and it doesn't release any harmful compounds uh, when being placed in the room it creates a very healthy atmosphere in your house and i think it would be just great if more and more people will start using this uh, natural insulation material. And to the questions. Uh, many of you were worried that we will lose some space uh, and our rooms will become smaller due to this insulation uh, that we are placing inside of the house and uh, you were asking how many square footage we will lose due to this insulation. Honestly speaking, I didn't calculate it <laughs> and Ilya also not. And yeah, we don't really care about it. We made this compromise to have a warm house and uh, nicely insulated. Yes, we lose um, in some places it's uh, at 12 centimeter block with uh, three, five, up to seven centimeters of insulation because the walls are uneven. And uh, in some places it's in total 18 centimeters or 20 centimeters which is great actually because it insulates better by the way we're insulating only the outside walls that are facing the street and the interior walls will not be insulated so we will not lose that much <laughs> it's a compromise so we are fine with it uh, i don't know how much we lost <laughs> you were asking in the comments as well uh, what is the black foil on the walls uh, and why it's there if we are caring so much about the visibility it's a fair question because it's a water barrier and why do we have it on the wall uh, it's a compromise again we have tested our walls uh, and checked uh, how many soles are there because our house in in the fields and all the nit 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 nitrates, 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 um, are in the soil and we have pretty much um, salts in the walls and they are mainly in the lower part so we placed this black foil uh, in the lower part of the walls to prevent the salts to be transferred on the finishing with uh, with water so yeah uh, i hope it will help us to avoid these stains from salts on our uh, finishing but we're gonna see it's not that good but it will not be that bad because uh, the water will still be able to evaporate to go to the top and evaporate on the higher level on a bit higher and what about the technical characteristic about the lambda and r value of uh, hemp insulation let me show you i took the technical characteristics of the hemp blocks uh, I hope you can see it clearly. We have uh, blocks of 7, 9, 12, 15, 20 centimeters and more. And our insulation is something between 15 and 20. This is lambda value of uh, the insulation. As you can see, it's 0 0.071, which is great uh, for a natural insulation material. And there are value, the heat resistance, is uh, for our case is between um, 2.24 and 3 
So I would say it's something around 2.7 for our case. Which is actually just great. Uh, it's a natural material and it's of course lower than some uh, foam insulation. Uh, but uh, what's a great thing about the hemp insulation, the foam loses their R value over the time, while hemp insulation does not lose and stay at this um, at this uh, value all the time and also it it does not deteriorate from the moisture that it's uh, tr that it transfers it's uh, just let it evaporate easily so really cool <laughs> and now to the main pain of the whole story of insulating from inside uh, the dew point yes the dew point um, is moving and uh, it's logical because we are insulating from inside, right? But it's not critical in our case because we are insulating with this hemp insulation. Uh, hemp insulation does not allow water to condensate on the wall. That's why it's so important when you have the old brick wall and the new wall out of hemp blocks, you need to fill in this gap with a loose hemp. You are forming the connection between these two walls and that allows the water to uh, uh, yeah, to be transferred from the outside to the inside and it's just like a free, automatic and naturally regulated humidity transfer, which is great uh, characteristic and cr helps you to create a healthy atmosphere in your house. Many of you asked what we're gonna use as finishing uh, on the walls. It's very important that you keep your solution breathable as a whole so you cannot cover your breathable wall with some deep rock or drywall or whatever or product that will close up the water and uh, yeah uh, that's why we probably will use lime plaster which is <laughs> quite difficult to apply as i heard but we're gonna see when we will come to this stage and what's actually a great advantage of um, installing this uh, hemp insulation that we will have more even walls and uh, uh, more straight walls that will uh, reduce the materials that we would need to straighten the walls. Guys, I <laughs> I had some loves when I was reading the comments and about your concerns about the mice colonies and rodents in our insulation because it was also my one of the first thoughts when I read and learned about this insulation material because while demolishing the first floor, the ceiling on the first floor, we found quite some nests and I didn't want this story to repeat once again. But even here, hemp insulation is just great. It's a natural, mixed with lime, it's natural repellent to many rodents, to mice, to rats, and it's, yeah, it's not a concern here as well. So it's just great. Um, there were a few more questions that I wanted to answer, but I guess I already took too much of your time and yeah, I might answer them in our following video while drinking beer, I hope. <laughs> I think this episode and the next one will be really interesting because it's mixing, putting the bricks, mixing, putting the bricks, mixing, putting the bricks, and nothing more.
I have ideal try. I mix moisture, some amount of moisture, and it was exactly for these walls, two walls, like one layer of bricks. It's like total, yeah, total match. And also, I have half brick here, and in opposite side. In opposite side it's half brick there so it's one brick one cut one brick yeah cool